they're, they're stunned. All their lawfare, it's not working. It's not working. And they're going to be confronted with a very real scenario that Donald Trump becomes the next president of the United States. It's something that kind of makes Whoopi sick to her stomach. She's talked a lot about leaving the country. She's joked about leaving the country. I keep saying she's going to be leaving a job because I don't think ABC is going to be able to afford her much longer. Anyway, she shared some of her views on this episode of The View about Donald Trump speculating that she might leave the country in the event that he wins in 2024. I want to play it for you. You know what I'm a little agitated about? Hmm. That man has something to say to me. Oh. He saw a meme. You know who? <laughs> saw a meme uh, that said I was leaving the country. People always see these crazy memes that I'm, I'm going to leave the country if he gets in there. Somebody else thought I was leaving, was sending suggestions for people to take my place. Look, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> It's not for the reason, uh, you little snowflake. It's not for the reason you think. He said nobody wanted me. Honey. We want you, Whoopi. Well, you know what? It wouldn't matter if no one here wanted me. Thank you. But I know where I'm going to be because I got contracts. So I'm going to be here where I'm wanted. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Whoopi Goldberg, because you know what? You have that contract. But Disney's been known in the past to fire people right after they have signed contracts. It happens all the time in the television business. Hello, hello. I had a contract, too. Just meant they had to pay me, right? Meant I technically was still sort of, even though I wasn't working for the network at the time, they did have to pay me. So, Whoopi, same thing goes for you. You know what? They can get rid of you. They can get rid of you tomorrow. Maybe they have to pay you out. Maybe that's, maybe that's a gamble we're taking in light of the struggles that your company, ABC, Disney, is facing right now. You know, I brought this up, oh, a few months ago, and this thing has racked up, what, some 3 million views? It's pretty, inc pretty incredible. Reminder, subscribe, 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 hit the likes, the bell, all that stuff. Anyway, this thing racked up like 3 million views. It's just crazy. And it's me talking about the reality that Disney probably is not going to want to pay Whoopi Goldberg that much more and take on the headache that is Whoopi Goldberg that much more because, well, the company actually, I happen to know, is looking to sell itself. That would be ABC News. Bob Iger, head of Disney, wants to sell off ABC News, which owns and produces The View, which means bye-bye, Whoopi. It, so, so I was talking about this. Uh, I think we have a clip. We'll make it three million in a uh, hundred thousand that have seen it. <laughs> you know what? These ladies are not gonna like the news I have to give them. Oh, there is breaking news. Uh, we just uh, learned that you know who has received a letter from Special Counsel Jack Smith, notifying him that he's a target. <clears throat> in the DOJ's grand jury probe of efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Lawmakers are reacting. Let's see the clip. <laughs> Former President Trump has oh, done... They just seem a little too excited, but perhaps not for too long. Not for too long, because you see, the network that they work for is about to be broken up in a big, spectacular way. That is if Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, gets his way. Pretty amazing, pretty remarkable. But what do we say when you go woke, you go broke? Yeah, Disney. Disney's struggling. It went woke. It's going broke. <laughs> I mean, Rob and I were talking about this at 76 the other day, 76 Research, my other company for financial research and you look at disney stock price and it has just been massacred right you think about this company just a few years ago it was trading up around 200 dollars a share the hope was that like somehow bob Iger was going to save it but nope you look at that one whoo it's down at 105 so basically it's been cut in half and so bob Iger has a big challenge ahead of himself he has to dewokeify the place good luck and he has to figure out how he can sell off those assets that aren't performing. 
Some of those assets include the television assets. He's made this very clear. He's actually said he wants to sell these assets. According to my sources, there have been discussions to sell off ABC News because it's one of those underperforming assets. And so some of the buyers that might be interested, I would speculate, might be another media company, might be a private equity company. Basically, someone's just going to suck the profits out of this until it basically gets run into the ground because old media is dying. Legacy media like what ABC News has, it's over, right? Like this is this is the future, here and now. Like we are participating in the future. I'm glad you're here. Reminder, subscribe, reminder to like, reminder to hit the bell. But this is the future. I mean, technologically, we have all of these changes that are happening in real time. And so will anybody go and watch The View? Like four years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now? I mean, I'm sure there's a small, small contingency of viewers that will still watch that. And so if you get ABC News cheaply enough from Disney, maybe you can squeeze some profitability out of it in, until you can't anymore. The way you do that is by getting rid of some of the bigger salaries and the bigger headaches, which means you probably need to get rid of Whoopi Goldberg, right? And then maybe she goes to Canada. Here's the meme that she was referencing. This is kind of funny. Take a look. Donald Trump making some comments on this. <laughs> I'm moving to Canada for sure this time. Joking around. He said, well, Canada doesn't want you, Whoopi. Nobody does. Huh. Maybe she could, maybe, you know what? I don't know if anybody would actually watch it. That's what's interesting. See, this is such a more competitive landscape. You actually really do have to be good at what you're doing. Maybe there's an audience for her in streaming. Not you guys. <laughs> Would you watch Whippy Goldberg? I'm getting now. I'm looking at the live comments. No, 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 no. You are definitely not fans of Whoopi. I get it. I get it. You can take her in small doses, like 30 seconds at a time when I show you what's going on. Just so you know, just so you know what's going on on the other side of things. I believe in that, by the way. I believe in understanding what everybody's saying because you need to hear what's actually going down. You know, sometimes I talk to people that consider themselves liberal and then they look at me like I have three heads when I mention something that the party's doing that they so fundamentally don't agree with. And they're like, but no, but no. And I'm like, yeah, but yeah. In other words, be informed, understand what everybody on the left and everybody on the right and everybody in the middle is doing and make your own decision. That's what we're about right here. Live free or die, baby, right? Okay, I'll plug my merch too. One of you guys were at, like a whole bunch of you actually were recently asking. I read the comments. Hey Trish, where can I get that cup? Where can I get that? Where can I get your merch and help support the show? You can get it at trishregan.shop. Trishregan.shop. I will put that into our little chat too, just in case. I think we got Father's Day coming up, right? I should have been telling you this for Mother's Day. I'm not always the best at self-promotion. Don helps me out if he's in the chat right now. I'm just looking because <laughs> he's always like, tell everybody to like it. Tell everybody to like it. Tell everybody to subscribe. And that is exactly what I'm trying to do. So do subscribe. Do go and check out the store, trishregan.shop. Whoopi Goldberg is really, um, I suspect, very much, as I said, on thin ice, I don't see a future for her in the new iteration of Disney, only because she's probably fairly costly, and I don't think you're going to get a return on your dollar for Whoopi. I think it's going to be very, very hard.